What are you waiting for? Your lord requires you for the hunt. Oh, really? Such a renowned hunter needs help. You wouldn't dare mock your betters now, would you? Heaven forbid, your lordship. If that's the way you want it, peasant, we'll meet back here at noon. Whoever has the most hairs wins. Oh, and if you don't have anything to shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some old hunting equipment. You can help yourself. After all, there's no sport in trouncing some wretch who hasn't a chance in hell. <laughs> By all means, Sir Hans. Ha! You'll soon be laughing on the other side of your grubby face. And now turn your back for a while. I know a few tried and tested spots in these woods, and I don't want you stealing them.
How did the hunt go for you, sir? I did quite well. Look, show me. Not bad, though. Quite good, actually. For a common blacksmith's boy. Um, shouldn't there be some reward for the victor? Jesus, the insolence. A serf asking his lord for coin. But never let it be said I'm a pinch purse. Very well, then. Your serf humbly thanks you, my lord. And now, come along. Let's go and hunt some real game. Henry, mount up and let's go hunting. See here, a wallow, and it's been freshly rooted. There'll be boar somewhere nearby. So, just like last time, slow and quiet, whatever you do. Understand? Well, watch out for them from the top of that mound there. spears. Is that so? So now all of a sudden you're a master huntsman, are you? Watch and learn. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Quiet. So next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow, you can... <laughs> Fuck. After him. Fetch. <laughs> Mount up, Henry, and chase down that swine!
say, Pegas. She said your old man couldn't get it up. Before you go. Keep them locked. That gives them one shot. Yes! It's a good shit! Could do with a bite to eat. Come on, Henry, old chap. You're not going to leave me here, are you? I'll have a bronze bust made of you, my friend. But where have you been till now? Oh, you know, I was picking berries, had a drink of wine, took a little nap. <laughs> you lunatic! They almost had me roasting on a spit. <laughs> I'd say it looked more like they were about to take your maidenhood. Now look here, dung grubber. Is that any way to speak to a nobleman? A nobleman with crushed balls, friend. <laughs> now you're playing with fire, boy. I could have you in the pillory for that. And then with my own two hands, I'd... Crush your balls! <laughs> that wound doesn't look good, Sir Hans. You're right. Those cumin swine roughed me up a bit. And my damned horse has bolted. You'll have to get me home somehow. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Who knows how many bandits are creeping around here. Let's go then. I've had quite enough excitement already. It's Lord Capon! Get here! Everybody! You! Help him! How is it possible, Ratsy? Those bastards make so bold no more than a mile from the castle. We'll have to send out more patrols. That won't do us any good, Hanush. Even if we had ten times the men, we couldn't beat through every thicket in the fiefdom. You sent for me, sir? Come in. I don't know how to thank you, Henry. If it wasn't for you, Hans would be dead. And to think I sent you out with him as a punishment. <laughs> I was only doing my duty, sir. Don't be so modest, young Henry. You showed not only courage, but loyalty to your liege. That's why I'm taking you into my personal service. <laughs> sir, I... <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, let's celebrate your promotion and Sir Hans's recovery. But 
don't just stand there, lad. Pour us a drink. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I've urgent tidings. What now? A stable boy came from Neuhof. He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. There's many dead or maimed. Tell us exactly what happened. I'm not sure. The boy was so shook up he could barely speak. He said the bandits murdered for the joy of it. I'm sorry, sir. Your vassal Smill is dead. Who did this? Who were they? We don't know, sir. The stable boy just kept babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. Take as many men as you need, and don't stop until you've found those bastards. And bring me their heads! Yes, sir. My men at your disposal too, Hanush. Thank you, friend. Sir, let me ride with them. He's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader, he must be the one who attacked me at Scalitz. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. You think he might still have my sword? No doubt you could use another swordsman, Captain. Uh, as you command, my lord. How soon can you leave, Bernard? Soon as the men are ready, sir. Good. Wait in the courtyard for Henry. And uh, give him a horse. His own mount? His reward for saving Sir Hans. He'll need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, go! I want these culprits in the hands of the executioner as soon as possible. I won't let you down, sir. We don't know much about what happened, just what that Neuhoff stable boy told us. Get your arses bounded up and let's ride out, on the double. Maybe we'll catch up with that rabble. we go? Are you ready? I'm ready, Captain. Good. Then follow me. Keep quiet and do exactly as you're told. I don't know what Sir Radzik sees in you, and I don't care. If you're to ride with my men, I expect you to listen. Yes, sir. Against all better judgment, they've decided to give you your own horse. The dappled gray beside my stallion is yours. Make sure you take good care of it. Now, mount up and ride behind us. All right, men. Saddle up. No dawdling. Last one there won't find me a happy man. Yeah.
Where's your master? In... in the paddock. <sighs> Crucifix. What kind of beasts could do this? With the blood of the martyrs. What happened here? Why? Someone came at night and hamstrung every one of them. The horses... screaming must have woke poor Radek, the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them... And then my husband... When my husband tried to help them, they killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stables. My sincere condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. We had to finish them off. All of them. The pain in their eyes. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? Nothing. They wanted blood, not coin. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing... Nothing that could drive a man to... this. These are dark days when there's more kindness in horses than in men. Did you see anything? How many were there? Or what did they look like? We saw no one. Has anyone tried to follow their trail? No. We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? A pox on it. Mount up and quarter the area. We have to find out where they went. Look for tracks and ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck! Someone must have at least caught sight of them. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. Please, let me do something. I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well, if you must. Just don't get in anyone's way. 
Don't go too far and come back here when you're done. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. You won't get away with this. No. You go to hell. All of you. Smell. The stud farm owner. I saw him in Scallets a few times. His poor widow. Ask. I... I can come back later if you... No. I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smill. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Do you get drunks coming here a lot? Sometimes, but not this time. My husband went out to see what was going on. Then I just heard loud voices and screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smil. I didn't find out until the morning. Did you recognise any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarrelled? Yes. Something must have happened. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Did you get a look at them? There's one man, huge and dressed all in black. Did you see him? No. I didn't. Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? Jacob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. Ginger was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. I don't know of anyone else. Good luck then. How could anyone be so cruel? Another useless soldier come to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. I'm not a soldier. I'm one of the survivors from Scalitz. Huh. I see, lad. Well then, what do you need to know? What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us, at night, a little before dawn. And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside, and I saw what they'd done to the horses. I shouted at those bastards, caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? Yeah, but he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me the other started to come out then, so the raiders ran. All that's left is his cloak. And you've got no idea why they did it? Something must have gone wrong for them. They ran off without taking anything. There's one man in particular. Huge. Dressed all in black. Voice loud enough to crack stone. Did you see him? Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really was here. The bastard. Can you help me? How? You know the area. How can I figure out which way they went? Hmm. They left in a hurry. You could see if there's a fence knocked down, or a gate. Good luck to you.
How could anyone be so cruel? ever do to anyone. <laughs> See what they did here? Kill them! Find those whore sons and kill them! <laughs> are you... Are you well? Leave me alone. Go away! Look, I know that it's difficult. But I only need you to answer a few questions. 
I'm here because Sir Radzik sent me. Sir Radzik? Yes. What... what do you need to know? What actually happened here? They... they killed the animals and... <laughs> why did they kill them? Did they take anything? No. Think carefully now. How did it all start? We... We heard the animals. Their shrieks. Then Smil. He shouted. And they murdered him. You're certain it was the animals first, and then Smil? Not the other way round? I'm certain. I'd never heard a sound like that before. Now I'll never forget it. What happened after that? We ran outside and it was chaos. Animals were dying, the stables were burning, and those demons everywhere. You said they were demons? No, just vermin. Worthless human vermin. The stables were already burning. Didn't that happen after they fled? No. It was to set the blaze when they arrived. How many of them were there? Not many. There were just a few that came after us, but more round the back. I heard them yelling at each other. So they were yelling because of all the noise? No, something happened. They quarrelled. In the back? Where? Towards the woods. To the north. They were trying to get away. So some of them were running away and the others were fighting? Aye, for a time. Then more of us came out and we fought back, so the others fled as well. Where? Where did they run to? To the north, into the woods. Thanks. That's all I needed to ask. God be with you. What? Who's there? Easy. I just came to ask... I don't know anything. Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Not a scratch. What really happened here? I don't know. Someone attacked. I, I don't know who. You didn't happen to hear where they came from? No! I didn't see a thing.
such senseless brutality. They slaughtered horses as well as people, and yet it seems they didn't take anything. here. If it was the horses they were after, there'll be even more of them by the main stables. Aha! This wasn't done by animals. They must have gone into the woods this way. Deeper and deeper, for sure. here. Nobody can match me with iron in their hands and... Uh, 
and some damn peasant kills me. <laughs> Dagger covered in horse shit. Ugh. It's a hoop pick. Someone in Neuhof must know more about it.
You don't know who this hoof pick might belong to. It's for cleaning hoofs, and so I thought that... I know whose it is. Why do you ask? Where did you find it? In the woods. The bandits who were still alive were talking about it. My God. How could he? I don't understand. I don't even want to believe it. What do you mean? Ginger. He acted strange after the attack. Everyone was shaken up, but he couldn't even look me in the eye. And now he's vanished. Never said a word to anyone, just left. Ginger, you say? Could he be mixed up in it? I'll try to find him and learn the truth about this whole thing. After you do, please come and tell me what really happened. Even if it's just to say where his body is. Do you know where Ginger could have gone? Not an inkling. Jakob hired him. Try asking him. Take care. Do you know anything about this hoof pick? Yeah. It's Ginger's. He had it made in Mate. Any idea where I might find this Ginger? Well, that's the thing. He packed up and left. What? Look, I, I know how he looks. But Ginger is a fine fellow. I, I don't believe he had anything to do with the attack. Where could he have fled to? I, I, I might know. But you gotta promise me one thing. When you find him, listen to what he has to say before judging. You have my word. Sometimes the charcoal burners come to see him. He gets on well with them. I think that's where he's gone. And where is that? No idea. They've always kept to themselves, you know, charcoal burners. But the forest is full of folk like that. They could be anywhere. Aye, except these ones won't be far. If you follow the stream from the stud farm towards Rate, you'll come across one of their camps. Only... Only what? Ginger didn't go that way, though. He always went by the big road, through the woods in the direction of Ujits. But how can I find them? There's always smoke when they work. <laughs> you'll smell them before you see them. Oh, and they need to be near water. There's that too. So if I go through the woods along running water, I'll find them? Exactly. May the Lord watch over you. I'll be with you. Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lion. As I'm sure you've noticed, the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Ratai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how you deal with them. Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any case, bring me the spurs, and I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very well. I'll see to it. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp dagger. You'll get a bit extra for each ear you bring. Isn't that a bit barbaric? Barbaric ways for barbaric times, my boy. That does make sense, I must admit. May the Lord watch over you. I think Ginger is mixed up in it somehow. Hmm. Why do you say that? The hoof pick I found on the dead bandit in the woods is his. That is fucking suspicious. He acted suspiciously when I questioned him. What do you mean? Well, he was squirming and didn't really say anything. He might just have been in shock. He disappeared right after we found those bandits in the woods. And I think I know where he went. Where? To the charcoal burners. He has friends there. We've got to find him. But if his friends really are hiding him, I doubt they'll talk to my men. You should search for him, Henry.
Go. Before the trail turns cold, I'll send a report to Ratai. Very well, sir. Take care now. <laughs>